one of the best things that happened to me in college was the critiques. Mm. The critiques that happened in college were brutal. You want to talk about being able to learn. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, you learn better by critiquing your work than you do by practicing. Okay. I'm a firm believer that I, I get better at photography in the selection process in my computer mm -hmm. than I do out there practicing because I get to critique my work and I get to look at it and say, oh, I could have done better if I had pushed it over to that side or if I had composed it different or if I would lit it from here. Yeah. Cause like, you know, cause that's where you actually see things in hindsight and you really get a, a view of what could have been better. And the next time you go out, you'll try it. Right. Um, but, but in college at the critiques, they were brutal. People would j like stand up and you'd be like, uh, you'd want to just <laughs> sink into your chair. You were embarrassed dude. and they would just castigate your work yeah. and be like, Oh, this is horrible. That's horrible. This is too close to the frame and whatever. But it, it made us tough, Yeah. but it taught us a lot. And now I see, you know, critiques, people put up a image on Instagram mm. and it's like, wow, that's beautiful. You're amazing. That's so great. And there's all this positive feedback, but nobody's learning how to do it better. Well, people will actually post stuff and say, no CC, please. No, CC con no means... constructive criticism. Oh, really? I don't, I don't want any constructive criticism for this. See, that's bizarre. Well, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't think it's a good culture to put a photo of yourself and say, roast me. That's a, that's a weird <laughs> well, that's, concept. The, you would, uh, your wish would be granted. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it would. In today's culture. But posting a photograph and getting constructive feedback is a great thing. Well, but also part of the thing is that people don't know how to give constructive cr criticism without coming across as a jerk because they don't, they're not practiced in the art of civil discourse. That's correct. To begin with, because they haven't done it. Correct. They haven't practiced. And you know no, what? I'm on a soapbox. I got yeah, well, to step off a little bit. The downfall to society is this, that there's not enough people getting punched in the face for the things they say. <laughs> you know, okay. like when I grew up, if I said the things that And we people, don't advocate violence. And we do not advocate violence. Right. But, but when, when I was growing up, if I said the things that people say on Facebook to each other, yeah. I'd have a bloody nose. Oh, yeah. Oh, because yeah. We, I'd have a limp to this day. Yeah, we talk right. face to face right. back then. Right. Now, people can just right. shout at each other. Right. And you're like, these people would get a bloody nose. Oh, yeah. They wouldn't. They'd yeah. get punched in the face. It wouldn't they work would, well for them. Yeah, no. it would be horrible. Well, so just no one a, would say that kind of stuff. So, and uh, just imagine right. what art, what, just imagine for a second in this vein, what the art world would look like if you yanked historically like made disappear any piece of art that had to do with politics or religion. Hey guys, thanks for watching this conversation presented by White House Custom Color on YouTube. Be sure to check out our other content and click that subscribe button right there. Right. <laughs> right there. It's there somewhere. <laughs>